After you watch this video, make sure to go vote for your favorite characters on the next poll that I put out because that is how I decide what character I'm going to do next. Just go to my channel and go to the community tab and it'll be right there waiting for you. In today's video, we are talking all about Ganyu, everyone's favorite Coco Goat herself. So let's go ahead and get started on everything you need to know about Ganyu and Genshin Impact. Ganyu is honestly really simple. Her elemental skill places down an Ice Lotus that acts as a taunt. And this is actually a very useful little tool for Ganyu's kit. Her elemental burst is a massive AoE that rains down ice shards. Think of it like the little ice fall attack that the Cryo Abyss Mages do, just like way, way bigger. Now I'm sure you've heard people say that Ganyu is the best DPS in the game, or arguably the best DPS in the game. And uh, this next thing is the reason why. Her charged attacks actually have two charges. The first charge is just like every other bow character in the game. They are really nothing special. But the second charge is called a Frost Flake Arrow. And a Frost Flake Arrow is like throwing a building at somebody. These deal massive damage in a small AoE, and these will carry you through pretty much the entire game. And after you fire one of these Frost Flake arrows, her passive gives you an extra 20% crit rate. Honestly, the rest of Ganyu's kit isn't even that important because these are the entire reason why she's so good. And if you use her ultimate, it gives you a 20% cryo damage bonus as long as you're standing in the circle. So if a character that shoots little ice nukes out of their bow sounds pleasing to you, then play Ganyu. The only thing to keep in mind with her playstyle is it's really slow. If you're wanting a DPS that moves around like a toddler on a sugar high, then Ganyu's not gonna be your thing. But if really stupid damage is what you're looking for, then Ganyu's, Ganyu's gonna be pretty much perfect for you. All right, so it's time to get a little bit technical. How exactly do you build Ganyu? You actually have a few options. She's not a very picky character, unless of course we're talking about food, literally only eats grass. Obviously you want to level her up as much as you can, hence why my Ganyu is one of my few characters that I actually have at level 90. Level up her basic attack first, then her burst, and then her skill. And if you're thinking about crowning something, definitely crown her basic attack. After that, you can start thinking about what bent stick you want to use. Yes, that's what I'm calling a bow. And luckily, there are quite a few options for Ganyu. Her best ones are obviously going to be most five-star bows, those being Amos Bow, Hunter's Path, Polar Star, Aqua Simulacra, and Skyward Heart. Obviously, these are not free to play friendly, and I myself have not been lucky enough to get any single one of them, so I'm stuck using the free to play options. And speaking of free to play options, the best ones are going to be Hamayumi or Prototype Crescent. I opted for Hamayumi because it increases your charge attack damage directly, and that's what Ganyu is all about. And when it's R5 and you're at 100% energy, it will increase your charge attack damage by 40 percent which is pretty hama yummy i'm i'm sorry i'm sorry that was really really bad that was probably the worst thing i've ever said if you want to get a hama yumi for yourself you need to run over to this little shack in inazuma talk to the guy living there and give him mysterious conches from the nearby beach and he'll let you open a chest once a day if you get lucky enough you'll get the blueprint for hama yumi i think it took me like a week or so to get it if that sounds like too much time and investment for you then i guess just go to the blacksmith and be inferior with your prototype crescent and all of us hama yumi users will point down on you in shame because because you were too lazy to go get the cooler bow. For her artifacts, there are two main sets that you should use. You're gonna wanna look at Wander's Troop or Blizzard Strayer. For the main stats, use an Attack Sands, a Cryo Damage Goblet, obviously, because she does Cryo Damage, and a Crit Stats Circlet. For substats, look for Crit Rate or Crit Damage, obviously, as well as EM, Attack Percent, and Flat Attack. If you are using Hamayumi as your weapon, then some Energy Recharge substats wouldn't be a terrible idea just to keep that 100% energy passive activated. And if you're looking for the set with the least investment possible, then Blizzard Strayer is your go-to since it's way easier to farm and its passive gives you a ton of crit rate. You can focus most of your stats on just getting crit damage. This is exactly what I'm doing until I get a better Wanderer set because right now my Wanderer's pieces are decent but not great. And I torture myself with being an absolute perfectionist. So until I get a Wanderer's feather that has stats that can match something like this? 
I'm gonna stick to Blizzard Strayer. That being said, Wanderers is definitely the better set overall for Ganyu, but it will require a little bit more investment to get a good stat set. If you are wondering where to get these sets, Blizzard Strayer can be farmed from this domain on top of Dragon Spine, and Wanderers Troop can be farmed from any world boss in the game. Both of these sets are also in the strong box, so if you have a bunch of trash you're trying to get rid of, you can go ahead and burn it on these artifact sets. Whichever set you choose is completely up to you and you'll have plenty of success using either one. As long as your crit and attack stats aren't complete trash, Ganyu will deal plenty of damage. If you are going for constellations, her C1 is a really good cryo resistant shred, and you honestly don't really need to go past that. But if you're a C mammal, go ahead and go for C4, because C4 gives you even more damage boosts. Because if you're dropping a bunch of money, you might as well get the best Ganyu possible. Team setup with Ganyu is going to change a little bit depending on which artifact set you chose. If you're running Blizzard Strayer, then you need to run a team that's going to be good at freezing everything literally all the time. And obviously you want to get Cryo Resonance because Cryo Resonance gives you extra crit rate. And with the passive from Blizzard Strayer and Cryo Resonance active, you get an extra 55% crit rate. And then you couple that with Ganyu's passive that's a lot of crit rate like that's without like your own substats you still like it's nuts if you are wanting wanderers troop still go for cryo resonance because you can never have enough crit rate until you're at 100 percent but you don't really need to worry about freezing anything use characters that are going to buff your damage and crit stats instead also running a good pyro applicator is a great idea as the melt reaction is amazing for wanderers ganyu because the two-piece bonus from the wanderer set gives you em so it's gonna increase your reaction action damage even more. And obviously having some extra EM substats in your build is going to make you do even more ungodly damage. I put together a few example teams that seem to work really well for both artifact sets. Obviously, Ganyu, main DPS, duh. And for Blizzard, run Shenha, Rosaria, Diona, or Layla in your second slot. Run Kokomi or Barbara or any other really good Hydro Applicator that you like using in your third slot. And your fourth slot is going to be a flex slot. You can run an Animo character with Viridescent Venerer for some Shred or whatever else you want to use. If you're using Wanderers, this team setup is going to change a little bit. I'd still keep a Cryo unit in your second slot just for the resonance boost and then for your third slot run bennett or another really good damage boosting support and then your fourth slot is going to be a flex slot again the only exception to this is if your crit rate is just absolutely nuts even without cryo resonance which is very possible given gone use passive then just run another pyro unit in the second slot and then you'll have the pyro resonance bonus which will increase your attack which will make you do even more damage Ganyu's biggest weak point is that she's very, very vulnerable when she's charging up her Frost Flake arrows, so having a shielder can actually help her out a lot. Diona is probably going to be the preferred pick here, because she can provide that shield as well as Cryo Resonance and a little bit of healing. If you're an absolute Giga Chat and you don't care about Cryo Resonance and you just want the beefiest, media shield known to man, then just, you know, just run Zhongli, because... You literally can't lose if you run Zhongli. All right, so now that we've gone through pretty much everything there is to know about how to actually play as Ganyu, let's go, let's go through some of her lore so we actually get to know the character a little better. Ganyu is a half-adeptus, half-human hybrid who has been alive for over 500 years. Her adeptus half comes from a being called a Chillin, at least I think that's how you pronounce it, even if it's not, that's how I'm gonna say it, so sue me. Chillins were gentle creatures who refused to harm anything, but despite their peaceful nature, if they have to fight, they absolutely will, and when they do, they are very, very scary. And she fought in the Archon War with Rex Lapis, and there's actually a funny little story you can find that Cloud Retainer will tell you about. How when Ganyu was fighting in the Archon War, she actually killed a monster by getting stuck in its throat because it couldn't swallow her because her hips were too wide. I'm not sure if this is some form of fan service or not, but maybe, maybe it is. I don't, I don't know. But currently, Ganyu works as the secretary for the Liwei Chising, and in this job, she takes on inhumane workloads and has very little time for anything. 
even sleep. This is why Ganyu is literally tired all the time. Us Ganyu mains know she's constantly falling asleep, but because of her talent and her work, it makes her one of the most important and essential parts of Liwei's government. But even though she has great importance, Ganyu still has a really big internal conflict in her head about whether or not she can even fit in with human society in Liwei Harbor. And honestly, you know what? Me too, Ganyu. Most, most people suck anyway. The fact that she's half adeptus makes her feel like she doesn't really belong in Liwei Harbor and she should be out in Dweyun Karst with the rest of the Adepti. But that just about does it for Ganyu. Please let me know what characters you guys want to see next by voting on the next poll that I put out. This video is live, then so is the next poll. So you can go find it in the community tab on my channel. I'm going to try and eventually get around to every single character in the game. Obviously, it's going to take some time, but we'll get there eventually. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe or I will come to your house and I will eat all of your snacks.